Hello everyone, it is I, Razor012YT, and today I'm going to teach you how to be Noob Trainer. Yes, this is today's tutorial on how to become a Noob Trainer 2023 edition. So you may be wondering, Razor, how do you uh, apply for Noob Trainer? Well, that is what you're going to do first. However, there are a couple of requirements to actually apply, and they're gonna be listed here right now. First of all, uh, you gotta obviously be in the Border Discord, so if you're not in it, join below. It's in the description below. Join the Border Discord. Then there are the big three requirements. So, here they are. First of all, you need a Discord level in the Border Server. Level 25. Now, there's a reason why there's a level 25 requirement. You can't just willy-nilly be a new guy and say, Can I have noob trainer? No! You gotta be in the community. A second requirement, warnings. You need less than two warnings, no blacklists, and overall general good conduct or behavior. Now, we don't want the bad guys becoming noob trainers and misbehaving. That's why that's a requirement. Yes. Now the third requirement is you need a verified Discord account. You gotta be verified, or else that ain't gonna happen. But wait, you may be wondering, Razor, how do you submit an application? Well, that's a good question. Uh, let me show you. Okay, so how do you apply? Fill the below application out. Make sure you complete this to the best of your ability, or else your application may be automatically deleted. So, you click this link here, and it should take a moment to load. Okay, uh, so since I'm already a noob trainer, it, I'm unable to apply for the application. Yeah, I'm unable to apply. And it says you've already applied to this application. So, yeah, I've already applied. I've answered all the questions. I'm not gonna tell you the answers. Okay, uh, first thing, we're gonna talk about the stages. If you submitted your application. Now get ready for a word wall because here come the stages. First, you submit your application. This is stage one. Stage two, uh, applications are reviewed every two to three months. Yeah, applications are reviewed every two to three months, FYI. Then, for some reason, it says stage four on the document. I'm gonna call it stage three. If, if it's successful, wait for a vacancy to become available. It's always available if there's enough staff to keep around, yes. Stage four. Four, successfully completed training, 45 minutes. Now there is, now the trainings can extend to an hour, keep in mind. But you have to be trained by a senior admin to know the ins and outs of how to behave like a noob trainer. Because if you, if you don't get trained, you obviously ain't going to be a good noob trainer and you're going to end up admin abusing, which is bannable. Don't do it. Then, if you pass your training, which everyone's gonna do, get past the training, you will undergo a four-week trial. And this trial will basically, the two weeks, you undergo a midpoint trial. I don't know if this is still around, but for some reason, it's on the document. My trial lasted four weeks. Based on my experience, there's really no midpoint trial. But I think they just check in on you for mod stats and all. Yeah. I don't know if they do that. Okay, you may be wondering, Razor, what the heck did, what the hell did I just say about mod stats? Basically, mod stats are a, is a term used by the admins and mods to see how much warrants or bans they collected. That's my experience, I'm just saying it from the word of mouth. But, here's the thing, mod stats are collected by admins and all that. Admins, mo uh, noob trainers, and and sadmins, senior administrators. They basically have mod stats. They also show your activity, so be proactive and well make sure and well make sure you're active during your trial, FYI. At the end of your trial you'll either pass or fail, depending on it. If you pass, you are no longer a TNT, a trial noob trainer. I forgot to mention trial noob trainers. Yeah, I forgot to mention you're a trial noob trainer all the time or TNT, but when you pass, you become known as an NT, or a noob trainer. Yeah. Now, if you did pass, 
Yay, you're now a noob trainer. Now you have the power. Well, you got power, but not too much. You're basically at, you're basically border staff at this point. Yeah. But anyways, I hope this guide was a little helpful on how to become a noob trainer. I hope this guide was helpful. And if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.